Breaking news next at 11 months after protests gripped the campus of Columbia University, President Manu Shafiq announces she's stepping down. And the humidity will creep up when we'll feel the heat. Then the repeated annoyance that's keeping neighbors up all night next at 11. Now at 11. NYPD out in full force in Central Park following a string of robberies. We're not going to tolerate crimes in one of the most iconic locations in the world. New video tonight of one group linked to a series of attacks. But we start with breaking news tonight, the resignation of Columbia University's president less than three weeks before the start of the fall semester. We thank you for joining us at 11. I'm David Ushery. Natalie has the night off. Manoush Shafiq now becomes the fourth Ivy League president to step down amid scrutiny over campus protests related to the Israel-Hamas war. News Force Checky Beckford live at the Morningside Heights campus right now, where Titan security took effect this week in preparation for more protests, Checky. Yeah, David, and then of course. Last check, Janice. Okay, well, much the same as today, where we're going to have temperatures in the 80s tomorrow, but also maybe a pop up shower in the afternoon. Take an umbrella along just in case, because we saw them pop up at random today, and there's a slight chance tomorrow. We're up to 87 degrees, though, and by Friday, the humidity is back, so it'll feel more like 90, and some areas may actually get to 90. Then it looks like the weekend turns, and we're going to get showers starting late Saturday afternoon into the evening, and on Sunday, with highs staying in the 70s. Those showers may linger into Monday, but then it gradually dries out. Next week's temperature is right around 80. It's like September weather, Mm. and it looks like it's going to be dry most of next week. All right, a little bit of everything. Thank you, Janice. (laughs) That'll do it for News for New York at 11. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is next. Today in New York is there for you at 4.30 a.m. Good night.